Good day, America. I'm Dr. Gerald Coy, and this is Solutions for Life, brought to you by the Share Foundation, a public nonprofit charitable organization dedicated to natural health by helping the public become aware of alternatives in the healthcare system. Today, we're going to have help you to understand another form of alternative health care. Oriental medicine, or Chinese medicine, and acupuncture. With me today is James Chung. Welcome. It's good to see you. Uh, we're going to talk about an area you're an expert in. So tell me a little bit about yourself first. And I, you know, First, what nationality is Chung? Uh, I'm Chinese. Uh, originally, my family is from China, and then uh, we immigrated to Taiwan, and then I was born in Taiwan and came to the United States in 1974. Oh, 74? You're, you are full-blooded you know, American now, aren't you? Full-blooded now. Full-blooded American now. Uh, you know, but I understand you've traveled back and forth some. Yes. Uh, um, during the years, I've gone back to Taiwan and China, uh, done some business back and forth, So, but, you know, last what, seven, eight years now, been here? Well, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, yes. I, of course, I like to travel back and forth myself. It's, it's a lot of fun. Tell me, how is it you got involved in, uh, or, now, am I correct? Is it Chinese medicine? Is it Oriental medicine? Yeah. Um, what is politically correct? They're actually both correct. Um, some people call it Oriental medicine. We call it Chinese medicine, and what we practice. That's you're Chinese now. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the actual um, the school that we go to, they call it TCM, which means Traditional Chinese Medicine. And uh, this was uh, actually developed by our Chairman Mao in China uh, during, uh, right after the revolution, actually, the mm -hmm. Chinese Revolution. Um, China at that time, they wanted to, um, to, to excel on their medicine, and, but they know they couldn't really keep up with the Western medicine, so they decided to go the other way and went with Chinese medicine. What, well, how, you know, how old is Chinese? I mean, are you um, talking about the history, I mean, going all the, the way back? Or the, what? the history of Chinese medicine um, and acupuncture uh, is dated up to 5,000 years. Um, we know that it's older than that, but what we have as far as data-wise is up, up to about 5,000 years. 5,000 years? Yes. And America's how old? A little over 200, 200 <laughs> years old. Well, we, we, we separate the two. You, we talk about Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, and we talk about acupuncture. Is acupuncture just a part of? Yes, acupuncture is actually part of Chinese medicine. Now, is, does that mean that every acupuncturist is also practicing, or is he only practicing a part of Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese medicine? Uh, that really depends on the individual. Um, in China, um, Chinese, let's... It's, okay, first of all, acupuncture um, in, 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 the, in, in the United States is really not a really accurate term because that's only one aspect of what a acupuncturist do. Um, because acupuncturists, we have to also study Chinese medicine, everything, the herbs and everything. And acupuncture is only one part of it. There's other things called moxibustion. Uh, moxibustion is basically... Um, is, is among the, the, the plant is mugwort mm -hmm. and it's dried up uh, and it's crushed up and rolled up and then they use that it's kind of rolled up almost like a little cigar it comes in different forms like a cigar and some of them are made into powders and then it, it, you light it up and you pretty much put it towards like certain certain uh, acupuncture points uh -huh. uh, or, or the meridians of the body and to heal the body also so uh, in Chinese uh, we call acupuncture zen jiu. Zen is actually the needle part. Jiu is actually the moxibustion part. It's actually a together word. It's a two. It's so it isn't just acupuncture. Isn't just a needle being stuck in you. Uh, in English, acupuncture is just a needle. And also in the United States, uh, it's recognized acupuncture is just a needle. But actually, an acupuncturist does a lot more than just putting needles in you. Is it, is it c correct in saying that an, I, the person is an acupuncturist, or is it? Better to say he is a traditional uh, it's, it's, Chinese uh, it's, it's, it's more, um, doctor. Well, right now, technically, uh, the license is called a licensed acupuncturist, but they practice uh, Chinese medicine or Oriental medicine and acupuncture, moxibustion. They do a lot of other things. Right. So you've mentioned the 
I, which I can't pronounce. Try that one more time by me. Acu, then the the uh, the Chinese. The, no, the, the, the acupuncture. Moxa bustion. Moxa. Moxa. Uh huh. I, I, this is my English lesson. My Chinese lesson, I guess. Moxa. Is that's actually English? Moxa bustion. Moxa bustion. Yeah. It's English, huh? Yeah. That's okay. I don't English. do too well with English either. Yeah. <laughs> and what other aspects are there of of uh, traditional Chinese medicine? Um, there's also what they have. They call gua sa. It's kind of like a little, um, like a little board, like a little plate, and they scrape. It's like they. It's, I guess the closest of translations, like scraping. Uh, that's like for people that. Let's for example, you got a cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in Chinese medicine, uh, they rec look at having a cold. Uh, as something that you caught, let's say, you know, you watching the TV and fell asleep at night, and next morning you kind of like starting to get the nif sniffles, right? So that's probably still at the very surface layer still. So what they do is they do gua sa, which is like a scraping. They scrape your back, mm -hmm. the neck and your back, back area, and that releases the pathogen. They believe that the, the, the pathogen kind of comes in on the surface, and that releases it right from the surface, and then you, you're much better right after that. Uh, instead of taking, you know, Tylenol or any other drugs, yeah, that, that, that's that's a good way to destroy the kidneys and liver and everything else. Yeah. Any other aspects of uh, that? I mean, uh, more like categ I could say categories. Um, okay. Um, there's there's uh, what we call Toina, which is a type of a massage. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I've heard of Toina. Uh, like acupressure, uh, like a deep tissue type of a uh, massage. Uh, there's cupping. Cupping uh, is they look like little light bulbs, mm -hmm. okay? And what they do is they stick, they take a, um, a cotton ball with alcohol, light it, stick it into that little cup, and so there's no oxygen. It, you, right when they take out the, 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 um, the, the alcohol swab, there's, there's no oxygen, so there's, a, there's like a vacuum, it creates a little vacuum, and then instantly they put it on the, on the skin, and then it sucks up the skin. And by doing that, it kind of sucks, it's well, a draw. It's a drawing mechanism. It's a drawing mach mechanism, and what that does is you leave it there for like maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then you pull it out. And if there's problems there, you'll notice that area gets really, really like dark. Sometimes it's just like purple or black. And if you don't have any problem there, it's maybe just a, like light red or sometimes not even red at all. So by doing that, you can tell if there's problem in that area or not. It, it, well, it sounds like in in. Uh I'm, I'm trying to get away from saying oriental medicine and get into you know, traditional Chinese medicine, that there's a lot, you pay a lot of attention of the reaction of the body or, you know, the, you know, draw or the, the release from the body, this type of a thing versus just putting stuff into the body, which is what Western medicine seems to do. Yes, yes. yes. So you're really trying to draw more out of the body and where they're trying to put more stuff in the body. Yes. Um, I, I, I remember um, back in school, uh, one of the professors used to say that uh, he would compare Western medicine versus Chinese medicine. Um, Western medicine tends to isolate a certain problem uh, and then attack it. Whereas, for ex he used this example, with I, which I thought was really interesting, was, for example, you have, you can't, you come home and you have a thief inside your house, okay? Well, the Western medicine, they, what they would do, lock all the doors and try to attack that thief, right? Well, what Chinese medicine does, leave the door open and kind of scare that guy so he would just leave. So he run out the door. Yeah. Open up, the, and maybe open up the windows while you're at it. Give him more ways to get get out of it. Yeah, there. so he'll just go and that's it. Well, you know, it's, it sounds fascinating. And it's, of course, a lot broader than, than I realized. You know, I'm, I'm typically Western in the sense of I thought it was basically needle sticking in and maybe you swallowed some herbs or drank some teas. Uh, so, you know, that, like that, that too. That, that, there's also <laughs> that too. You know, we met. We we met at, at a, uh, a school in uh, a university in L.A., and that's where uh, I came in contact with you. And I, it kind of gives me an idea of what is the education for. Well, I'm sure that the education is different in Asia, in the different Chinese China and some of the other countries in Asia. Uh, that, but in the United States, what is the education for a uh, traditional Chinese uh, medicine doctor, a acupuncturist. You you mentioned that it's kind of separate. You know, what is the education like? Um, the, the, the 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 education now actually is it's not separate. It's together. Um, uh, it's right now the program is a master's program. Um, once you get your master's program, um, 
you can, you're eligible to take the state board. And after you take the state board, you pass it, then you're a licensed acupuncturist. Now, are you licensed in all 50 states in the United States? or N No, I'm licensed in California and some other states. No, I mean, I'm talking about as a prof uh, is the profession licensed? Um, I, th I think um, the profession is licensed in all the states except for a couple of states. I think there are still a couple of states that are, are still illegal. They, they, they don't allow they do, acupuncture. They, probably in the south? <laughs> I, 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 can't, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly. The, the reason, uh, you know, I'm a chiropractor. You know, I have my knowledge in my area and everything else. And I have to laugh because on my wall is a picture of when I was in Louisiana, which was the last state to recognize chiropractic and licensed oh, chiropractic. Okay. And that was in 1974, just when, in fact, acupuncture was beginning to come into the United States. It, had, it, it Though it existed for 5,000 years, unless it was a cultural thing within the communities, the Asian communities, it really wasn't ever practiced here, was it? No, no. What give the, you know, is it because of the immigration? Why is it becoming more well known? Um, it started um, in the 70s when Nixon, he went to uh, China. And when, when Nixon was in China, um, one of his um, reporters got sick. I think he had uh, appendicitis and then, um, you know, he, he was in China, and they couldn't really bring him back, you know, to treat him because it was so far away. So they had to give surgery at, at the time uh, in China. So when he went into surgery, they didn't even use anesthesia. They just used acupuncture uh, to stop the pain. And uh, this reporter was just amazed by this. So after he came back to the United States, he started, you know, you know, promoting, explaining about what, you know, the, what, what, acupunct what acupuncture is and what it can do. You know, I, I've heard of acupuncture being used to, you know, in many ways of reducing pain. And the thought of having surgery, you know, that is, a, that is really amazing. And we're going to be discussing that in more detail. I want to, I want to, you know, get some more about that. So when we come back, we will be discussing more about acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. Be right back. Building a custom home or business is a huge deal. For some, it's the largest project they'll take on in a lifetime. Choosing your team may be the most important part of ensuring a successful building project. Starting a project by working closely with Core Design will create what's just right for your lifestyle and your property. But selecting the right builder is perhaps the most important part of creating the team. At Core Design's customer service, quality craftsmanship, and integrity are the keys to our company philosophy. Your custom construction dreams are just a phone call away. Core Design at 213-453-1609. Once again, that number is 213-453-1609. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one -on -one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. attention when it comes to tequila two things matter heart and passion never compromising integrity for mass production number one tequila delivers the goods taste the heart and passion of mexico in every bottle we make it right we make it fun superior tequila there's only number one there's only number one there's only number one A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AGR Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. AGR Associates, making your dream house a reality. Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. Or you can log on to www. HERrealtors.com. With a track record of great results, bringing knowledge, wisdom, 
and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. You have your master's degree, yes. your license, your license. Yes. Now, are you a licensed acupuncturist? Licensed acupuncturist. Uh, what about the Chinese, tr traditional Chinese uh, medicine? Um, that's the license is actually called acup licensed acupuncturist, uh, but we also practice herbs. And on the state board and our schooling, herbs is half of what we also have to study. So that's why a lot mm -hmm. of people feel this is really not an accurate term for uh, what we do. In other words, you're, 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 it's kind of like it. you're only talking about half of what you really do and giving it the name as if it was the whole. Right. Yeah. Okay. But you, you, you mentioned, the, so you can, you're licensed, you have your master's, and where we met, you're working on a, a doctorate. Yes. So you're, you wouldn't be called a doctor yet, but no. with the doctorate, you'd be called a doctor. Yes. Yet, what additional education is what is this level of education you're going for for a doctorate um what do you mean by well you've got your masters mm -hmm. you're able to practice mm -hmm. you have your license why do you what's why the, do you need the why do you need more education um well, one of the reasons for, is for myself uh, i, I want to learn more uh, i like to be in this environment um also when, although I'm, when I see patients, um, there are certain things that, that I come across that I'm not familiar with. So in the doctorate program, there's more, is it a, a broader variety of understandings and a, a, a the, the, variation the, the, of the, the, procedures or what? The, the program that I'm in is uh, actually, it's just it's still more on acupuncture and focused on pain, pain management. That's the specialty. Um, uh, but more actually for myself is being in this environment, there are different doctors in the school, uh, also from Western medicine doctors, you know, orthopedics, uh, x-ray specialists, uh, all, all different kinds of doctors and, and, and different, and obviously different types of Chinese medicine doctors. Um, I, I like to be in this environment um, because sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll come across some cases that I'm not familiar with and I can go back and I can speak to the different doctors and get their opinion and pull their opinions together and say, you know, I have this case, what do you think of this? You know, I'll go to another doctor and ask them, what do you think of this? And sometimes they might say the same thing, sometimes they might say different things. But, you know, I'll, I'll put it together and I think, you know, and I'll say, okay, this, I think I'll try this, this. Usually I will start with the least evasive type of uh, Way. Well, you're, in other words, you try to be as conservative as possible. Yes. For our, for our listener, I want you to understand that when we talk about getting different opinions from different doctors and not always agreeing, the, believe me, that is typical in all professions. I, I ha had a friend that recently actually passed, and he was in for, uh, with his cardiologist, and the cardiologist and the pulmonologist, they, for his lungs and everything else, were almost at blows arguing <laughs> about what the pro what his problems was so medical doctors have a tendency of you know even being maybe a little bit more violent but it's i appreciate the fact that you know you're seeking a variety of answers and everybody's got opinions everybody has a different approach in my profession we have multitude of techniques and ways in which we uh, deal in chiropractic so uh, it's i just want our audience to know that this is not an unusual thing to see in any kind of healthcare profession yeah and, and I, I try to get more opinions actually also not just for myself but also for the patients so they have more options you mean I, there I, I isn't look. one answer for everybody <laughs> no <laughs> okay so in these in this furthering education how far does one go? I mean, you, you had mentioned you, you like the environment. But what happens when you graduate? Are you going to you keep coming back? Do you keep coming back I, and picking I, up classes? Well, we, we, we're also required to have um, continued education. We're required to have 50 uh, hours of continued education every two years. And um, that's, that's part of all acupuncturists are required that. Um, but on top of that, I think I will still keep going just because I, I – you know, I, I, I really enjoy being there, and, and I, I like all the different professors there, and just 
just to be able to, just, keep, just to have more keep, options and you know keep to, to on consult. keep on learning that's you know that, and i you're smarter than us because we only require 48 hours every two every two <laughs> years so you you've got two more years of two more, two more hours, hours two or more hours in there to keep getting smarter than we are yep can you give us an idea of you know differences between you know acupuncturists and traditional uh, Chinese uh, medical doctors in the sense of I know in my profession there are certain doctors that do have certain techniques and certain ways in which they they practice and take care of their patients and I am aware and so there are sometimes cases I feel would respond better with this doctor than another doctor within my own profession do you have that uh, that kind of a situation okay um, for example um, let's say pain Somebody has some some kind of sports injury. They hurt themselves, and they come in. Probably using acupuncture, uh, it's probably a, a a more direct type of a solution. Versus, um, okay, let's say somebody sprained their ankle. Immediately come in. We can put some acupuncture needles, help the swelling go down and the healing process much faster. Versus then giving them taking some herbs at that time so, sounds like karate kid time yeah and then um, if this person has for example diabetes although legally we're not allowed to say that we can treat diabetes but we can help well that gets in an, that gets into an interesting area of you know what are you really treating what are you really trying to do with a patient other than get them healthier yes um, Going back to your question about what they do, um, if somebody has, let's say, diabetes, probably coming in for acupuncture might not be the best thing for them. At that time, we would probably use more herbs instead of acupuncture. Um, also, but that doesn't mean acupuncture doesn't work. Acupuncture can still work because acupuncture can help uh, boost their immune system. Uh, it can also help detox their system. So these are all things that can still help the problem. Again, you're talking about when you talk about detox, you're getting something out of the body. Yes. You're getting the body to respond. So it's all, and it sounds like in some ways you're stimulating natural processes within it's, it's the, the body. It's all natural, right, right. I know when I teach. We're helping the body heal itself. Gee whiz, that sounds familiar. You know, only the body heals. I, I think my audience has heard that several <laughs> times from me. And, of course, that's, that's why I love having you here is the fact that it reinforces that premise that only the body heals and what you need to do is take better care of it mm -hmm. but also work with it as naturally as you're possible possible because yes. if it's the body that's healing and not drugs and surgery and anything else you need to make sure you're getting the right kind of care and it sounds like acupuncture and the herbs that come with chinese uh, traditional chinese medicine is about can be of tremendous benefit you, you mentioned the aspect of a diabetic and i i agree i don't treat diabetes i don't treat disease uh, in the same sense as a chiropractor my purpose is to remove interference neurological interference so that the body can function better we, again a little bit of difference in western thinking and in uh in chinese traditional chinese medicine thinking uh, but again it's meant to get the body to respond and overcome whatever that challenge may be so I, I understand completely, and I hope the audience is, is understanding that when you say you don't treat the disease, you know, that's great because what you're doing is helping the body to respond. Yes. Uh, Chinese medicine is basically we're treating the patient, not the disease. I mean, you might get, you know, you know, get, get the patient well without having to you know, do things that may be harmful to it. Yes. You know, in the different skills and the different techniques, uh, we, we mentioned... Uh, uh, the, like I say, the difference may be between using more herbs and more uh, of the oriental uh, medicine aspects versus using the needles and the acupuncture and everything else. Or a combination. Or a combination thereof. Um, is, as far as the consumer, the patient, the person who has health challenges, how do, how do they figure out who to go to? That's a good question. Um, I, I think probably to the, the, the best way would probably look for a um, Chinese medicine school, start there. Um, you can go to the school 
and ask them what they recommend. Uh, they, they have students that graduated from their schools and they usually know which one are the better ones and they'll, they'll probably give you an answer of you know, who they think is pretty good. And that's, that might be a good start. Do you, well, do you have uh, graduates, or whether it be from the school or elsewhere, that do, shall we say, more Western acupuncture? I'm, I'm talking about some, those are, because you, you, you mentioned that in traditional Chinese medicine there is these different aspects, these different categories, where it wasn't just sticking needle in it, but yet in Western concept of of acupuncture, it's mainly just sticking needles in the body. Yeah, um, there, there, there are the acupuncturists that um, they, they, they probably are MD in the, in, in the study of acupuncture or a registered nurse or some type of a Western medicine um, side, and then they come, come and study Chinese medicine. And then uh, what they will do is, I, I, I shouldn't generalize, but they, I'm just saying the different types. But, but their thinking is still embedded in into yes, Western medicine. So Western medicine, um, they they probably let's say for example come in for pain, they will probably use uh, certain points that they learn uh, that will help that type of pain, and and that's it. Whereas a more um, more traditional type of a Chinese medicine practitioner would start also going into about qi. Uh, how your your body move that the chi moves in your body, uh, how 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 it's affecting the the overall okay. part of your body. You you've got to help us understand better. You you brought it up, and that is chi. <laughs> I I know I know it's it, I know it's difficult when someone doesn't understand a language. It's uh, many times it's hard to get across the thoughts that are have created that language and. You know, use, you know, you're well versed in English and Chinese, I believe, and anything else. But in the thinking, how does a Western person help us to understand? Um, qi, in direct translation in Chinese, means air or gas. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it's a, it can be air or gas. They both they, it's qi. Um, in Western terms, we try to to explain it as energy. But this energy, look at it as a type of like a gas that's pro or, 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 or energy, gas, air that's kind of going through your system. Well, we're going to have to let our audience just hang on there, to the, you know, onto the air a moment, and we'll be back to discuss uh, traditional Chinese medicine and qi. Nurses Life Express provides unique apparel for all the hardworking nurses that wear many hats. It is apparel that expresses nurses' amazing, humorous, and caring personalities. After all, nurses are as influential as their united goal to help others. Nursing's not easy, but somebody's got to do it. For more information, please call 562-270-4312 or visit their website at www.nurselife.com www.nurselyfe.com nurseslife.com where nurses lives are expressed three balls two strikes the pitch make your team look like pros with custom lineup cards whether you are a travel team rec team all-star team or just some old guys playing slow pitch we can make your team look a little better with some custom lineup cards. For the umpire, for the opponent, for the scorekeeper, for the dugout, no matter where your lineup card goes, you will look like a big league team with your team logo and name on top of your personalized lineup card. Just visit CustomLineupCards.com. With the best prices in town, you are sure to hit a home run with us. Visit CustomLineupCards.com and go pro. Are you watching the game at home? Why? Come watch it at Mambo Grill, the hottest spot in Downey. You'll have good food, drinks, and a great time at a low price. We have the coldest beer in our sports bar, where you can enjoy the game on any of our huge flat screen TVs. And when your home team wins, you get 25% off anything in Mambo Grill. We're on Downey Avenue, one block north of Firestone, or visit us on the web. Mambo Grill, love at first bite. Hey, bro, this is a good game. You know what would make it better? What, bro? 
a michelada. A michelada? What's a michelada? A michelada is somewhere in the middle of a Mexican Bloody Mary and a Mexican margarita. Oh, I got you covered, bro. You got a cup in your pocket? No, sir. I got my pocket-sized michelada. Mucho macho michelada. pocket size? pocket size. So you can take it with you anywhere you go. Where'd you get that at? At the nearest convenience store. And you can also buy it at muchomachomichelada.com. You know what will make it better? After we get drunk, if they had a line, we can call. We can call their drunk line. You can leave a message and then log on to the site and listen to your stupidity afterwards. What's that number? It's 855-MICHE69. What's that number again? 855-M-I-C-H-E-69. Awesome. Mucho Macho Michelada. Acupuncture, and we're with us today is James Chung, mass, uh, with a uh, master's degree, and studying for his doctorate degree, and very knowledgeable in the area of of this uh, of Chinese uh, traditional Chinese medicine. We greatly appreciate the information. So we were talking during the break uh, about qi. So let's let's continue the conversation a little bit. <laughs> I know it's a difficult thing for us Western minds to try to grasp, but. Please, we've had some good conversation on this. It's, it's because um, Western medicine or, or science today um, or, or previously could not detect qi, that's why it's hard to recognize um, acupuncture uh, as a scientific type of a medicine because they cannot find it. Where is it? What is it? So that's why a lot of times uh, acupuncture doesn't get the credit that it, it, it deserves. Um, but in China, um, they've done some studies, and now they've, they're able to detect qi. That's how it's, it's basically, qi is... In other words, just because you can't measure, it doesn't mean it's not there. It doesn't, it's not there, exactly. Uh, now they're, they're finding, you know, they have certain equipment that can do some kind of measurements on the qi. Well, we were, uh, in, in, our, in our conversation, everything else, you had mentioned earlier about Nixon being in China and how... I believe what you said of a reporter, reporter. Uh, had surgery. You would think that, you know, when a person was able to have surgery without drugs, without which an anesthetic is probably one of the most dangerous things for the body. I've always heard, even in medicine, where they talk about a person who, under anesthetic, is is being sent the closest to death uh, by any procedure. Uh, so it's it's a scary process. Be able to do this by placing needles in a body that so you can do something invasive to me is fascinating and that to me it should be something that you know that's measurable yeah 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 so i i think it depends on how sometimes how we how we expect to to measure something i don't know what it they, is they're they're um uh, also researching um using acupuncture to do a lot of um brain surgery uh, neurosurgery because um, a lot of times when they do surgery on the brain they really need the patient to be awake and this I've, is some, I've this, seen that and, and and this is something that you cannot do when someone when someone is on anesthesia they're just out you know, we were talking about uh, you know we mentioned conditions and again repeating you're not treating the disease you're treating the patient uh, we had talked about patients seeking uh, an acupuncturist, basically, because that's what a lot are going to be labeled at in, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I guess, in the in the telephone book, if we had a yeah, telephone book. It's, yeah, if, when you look it up, I mean, you know, Or is there a category for uh, traditional Chinese medicine? I mean, if someone gets on Google or get, gets on the computer, it used to be we'd open up the if, phone book. If, but if, if you type up traditional Chinese medicine, probably the first thing would pop up was acupuncture. Okay. What is our individual looking for in that realm, and who all should be looking? Um, pretty much everyone. Uh, it's, uh, I, I don't know of anyone that can say, I am so healthy, I don't need anything. In other words, you're looking for people who, you know, that basically want to stay healthy, be healthy, yeah. make sure their body's functioning optimally. Yeah, you know, whatever's not, um, whatever problem they do have, once we fix the problem, 
uh, you also have to maintain your body. Just like we drive a car, we need to maintain our car. Uh, it means we, we need to keep eating well. We need to be exercising. Yes. We need to be taking care of ourselves. Yes. Heaven only knows if we should do that. Uh, I hate to quote another medical doctor, but or a medical doctor, but as Dr. Oz says, you know, 80% of uh, our chronic conditions are in the choices Choice. we make. Yes. And that's part of why we're here, is to give people more choices. I, in one of the earlier um, uh, uh, things we had talked about was uh, educating the public, making them aware of what's there. Uh, on the screen, there's a small, small cartoon that comes from a book I wrote called Solutions to the American Health Crisis. And it talks about the doctor of the future. I've used this for chiropractic a lot, but I can see how it also plays a, a greater role in all the natural healthcare sciences. And I know you, we've talked about chiropractic. You have an appreciation for the physical aspect of chiropractic as looking what is best for your patients. What other things, what, what other aspects do you advise your patients and people that come to you for your care? What, what do you mean by it? Well, do you discuss nutrition? Do you discuss, you know, you, I know you have herbs and stuff like this. Do you tell them to get off the sofa and go walk around the block and get some exercise? Oh, oh definitely. Uh, uh, diet is very important. Exercise is important. Um, sleeping well is important. Um, we treat a lot of uh, disorder, you know, sleep disorders, insomnia, um, depression, anxiety. You know, all, all, all this all plays in t together. Now, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? They can call me. And your number is? My number is 626-318-3836. Okay, again. 626-318-3836. And if you missed that, you can always call us at Rant Radio here at 855-855. Nine six nine seven two six eight, and we will give you that information. Yeah. So as we go on, I want people to be healthier. You know, we have our services, you have your services. What more information does the public need to know to stay away from you know, taking drugs that are doing more harm and waiting until they get so sick that they need emergency services? What advice do you give to people? Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Yeah. I think I think people need to be uh, more aware of their body, uh, their health, uh, be more active. Um, first of all, just start seeking uh, alternatives instead of just going by what the Western medicine is telling them to do. Have, have you, you have, and in, in some of your cases, have you seen also where Western medicine, though sought first and failed, has been benefited from your services? Can you um, yes, number one, stroke. Wow, um, that's a heavy one. Yeah. Um, basically, um, Western medicine cannot do too much for stroke patients. You know, once they already have a stroke, they just basically wait around or they, have, they send them to physical therapists to have re rehabilitation. But um, in Chinese medicine, uh, acupuncture is known to be the one of the best modalities for stroke. When on, in a stroke person, usually there's a lot of malfunction. The body's, you're not able to walk, you're not able to do this, you're not able to do that. Mm -hmm. The body is not working, functioning right. So if you can, through your procedures, stimulate or increase or however it's best to term it, function in that body, you, I can see it being of tremendous value. Yes. Uh, but timing is very, very important. Right when you have the stroke, as soon as possible, you need to have acupuncture treatments. If you get acupuncture treatments immediately, there's usually a very good chance you have a full recovery. But when you, when you say, ooh, full recovery sounds really fantastic, someone has a stroke, they're taken to the hospital. How are they going to get that? That's the biggest problem right now. In fact, um, this has happened with uh, one of my, my good friend's father. Uh, his his father um, had a stroke, and then uh, he was sent to the hospital. And um, you know, the family c called me and told me about it. And I said, okay, I can I can help out. I can do acupuncture. But they said, but I talked to the doctor, and the doctor says, no, you cannot come into the hospital and do it. So um, 
I couldn't go in and help him until he was uh, out of the hospital, which was two months later before I started the treatment. Which is, so that's one of the biggest problems. I, I have to laugh when, because, uh, because I've been refused to go into the hospital too. But I've had family that also said, would you go in? And, you know, we draw the curtain and we adjust the patient, you know, probably get thrown out of the hospital by the guards if, I, if they knew about it. And I, I remember one time I adjusted the patient. The patient felt so much better, he got up and checked himself out. He says, I'm not going to stay, because they were wanting to do surgery on him. Yeah, I, I, um. But at my age, we, I can get we, away we, with doing we, some of those we, bad we, things. We, 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 th we thought about that, um, but, but the father said, you know what, he doesn't want to take the chance of giving, getting me into trouble. So that's yeah. why we didn't do it. But that is, you're talking about the potential of full recovery. Yes, time, time is very important. Again, you're treating the essence. body, not the disease. You're helping that body that has, is suffering a condition to heal itself and overcome uh, the condition. Yes. Again, we're not treating strokes. Mm -hmm. We're treating the body. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a fantastic thing to offer the public. If, if, but yet we're blocked, you're, or you're blocked, mm -hmm. because of the way in which... Most stroke yeah. patients, you, know, you have a stroke, you end up in the hospital, you can't be seen, and they just, you just sit there and begin to wither away until they, and medicate you until they figure you're going you're to stay alive, and then you're left with the pieces afterwards. What is the recovery level after, you, since I don't know if too many people are going to be able to get to you? Um, it's, 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 it really depends on the severity. If, if it's, once you wait, the golden period is usually the first three months. Once you pass three months, um, it still helps, but <clears throat> the recovery is much, much slower. So immediately, in other words, if the person goes into the hospital and within a couple, three weeks, they're out of the hospital, there's still a tremendous ability for, for recovery? Yes, yes. What are some of the um, other areas you, you've got? That, for what, some, what, what are some of the other tricks up in <clears throat> your bag that you've got for people? Um, well, f first of all, you know, the most popular for acupuncture, people that, that know, you know, understand are usually a p pain management. We do chronic pain, acute pain, um, fibromyalgia, arthritis. Now, are we talking about strictly acupuncture or are we talking about a combination? Are we talking about traditional Chinese medicine? Well, um, this right now, right now, uh, this can be done with just strictly acupuncture. Of course, uh, certain patients, uh, they might they might need a little bit of herbs, can help too, but even without herbs, uh, pain, usually you don't really even need any herbs, just acupuncture will be enough. Uh, arthritis, uh, depending, on the, depending on the severity, uh, you might need a little herbs, but most of the cases, just you know, acupuncture will be enough. Um, sports injuries, just acupuncture is enough. Um, headaches, migraine headaches, things like that, just acupuncture would be enough. You don't really need What we have learned today, this is, you know, this is really fantastic. But as you had mentioned, I want to, you know, I greatly appreciate the things that you are here with us. I think I look forward to, to having more and more conversations with you. But I want to remind everybody, be sure and eat right, exercise, reduce your stress, and be healthy. Life is good. Surgeon.com reaches at 855-WIN-4199. Did you get caught speeding, texting while driving, or doing anything else you weren't supposed to do? Give us a call. Don't miss work. Don't lose out on the money. Don't get any more points. What about your insurance? Let us fight for you. The Ticketsurgeon.com at 855-WIN-4199. Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today, or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, 
hot and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara pizza today. The Share Foundation is the health division of the Koi Chiropractic Institute, a 501c3, 509a2 public nonprofit organization dedicated to the growth and development of the natural health care services. In particular, through the chiropractic profession, offering health services at the Share Clinics in the greater Los Angeles area. Your donations can help in expanding these facilities across the nation research programs, and public education, thus offering a solution to the many of the health challenges we face. Your donations are tax-deductible and can be sent through our website at www.sharefoundation.com. That's www.cherfoundation.com. By clicking on the donation button, thank you. <laughs> Number one, the Number one. Is that a starter or as hot as you can count? I was ordering number one. Everybody's asking for number one. Great, another fancy bottle. These guys are true artists. Never compromise integrity. They make tequila Come on. fashion. Never mass produce. So what are you saying? I'm saying have the number one. Anything less is number two. Number one. <laughs> number one, tequila. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Solutions for life. We're talking about traditional Chinese medicine, which is acupuncture. And with me is James Chung. And we were talking about some of the conditions. Before we get into some more information for, uh, for our listeners about who needs to come, which, you, as you point out, should be everybody, when you talk about someone who has uh, a particular condition, obviously stroke we had mentioned and some of the other conditions we mentioned, uh, does this, do you go in one time and, and get treatment, or is it multiple times? What does someone uh, should under or expect? Um, if, it's, if it's a stroke patient at the beginning, we recommend to do at least two to three times a week, uh, two to three times treatments a week. A week for? Yes. For the stroke. For the stroke. But uh, or, uh, is that until there's a maximum cover, until you level off, or what? what is it you're expecting? Well, in the United States, um, it, it be almost became a norm now. People tend to come maybe like twice a week or once a week. Uh, for whatever the problem. And I probably also do to because in, in this culture everyone's too, too busy or too far away or something like that. So that's probably the amount of time that they're able to come. Uh, but in China, it's, it's usually they come every day for 10 treatments and then they'll rest for three to four days. Oh, well, of course, also something that's a, a factor here is that uh, the cost. Yes. The, yeah, and the, yes. And well, maybe that's something we need to get in there too. But so, you you don't see your patients as many times, maybe in a week. But does that not also draw out the period of time, the number of weeks that may be necessary for treatment? Yes. So it, it is essential that you get uh, the amount of treatment necessary to overcome whatever your condition is. And obviously, the more severe the condition, the more uh, treatment you may need. Yes. Yes. Uh, we we were talking at the on break about some other other conditions. I know you mentioned. Uh, pregnancy, and I've, we've discussed this before, and I, uh, I, you had a patient, I believe, that was pregnant, and something was said, said about the pregnancy? Um, uh, the, I had a patient that came in, um, she's four days overdue, and then the... I, I, I have a problem with that the, statement, the, the, yeah, the, the, go the, ahead. The, 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 the doctor uh, wanted to give her the shot for the medication to induce labor, and she didn't really want to have that shot. That's why she came to me to try acupuncture. Uh, before the doctor give her that shot. Well, uh, you know, one, I have a tremendous resentment about doctors playing God. 
And I don't think the doctor was in the bedroom when they were conceived the child, maybe he was. But this concrete concept of when a child is to be born, I really appreciate there was some information that came out recently in the news about how there is really about a five week window and yet doctors, yo, your due date is here, and they've got women believing that that's when they have to have the baby. Is what do you feel about that attitude? Um, I don't know. It's just I, I don't know why they say that. I, I I don't understand why they have to have that window. Well, you know the you mentioned that she came to you for acupuncture. Is this going to artificially stimulate to have the child earlier? Or is this going to simply relax the body so it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen anyway? Um, I think that's that that's that's different. Uh, depends on the individual because uh, certain certain uh, points, acupuncture points, for women that are pregnant. Let's say they're they've only been pregnant. Uh, let's say six months. You know, you, they're way before their you know time to 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 give birth and. There are certain points that we we should not be using uh, because that's a contraindicator for pregnancy. So um, there are so there are some limitations as to when and where you should do. Right. So there uh, is a, pot a possibility of harm then, or not the desired result. Yeah. Uh, if if if. But but okay. If they're not due. Um, we would not use those points, certain points, because those those are the points that are considered to induce labor, and we don't want to do that too early. But if the the time is already up, and they if they're within the realm of, in other words, if, if if it says, you know, I've been pregnant for nine and a half months, I really feel I'd like to have this baby, then this is not, is it? But what is it doing? Is it is it causing contractions? Is it is it just relaxing the tissues? What is, what is the procedure doing? Um, I think I think it's uh, it's it's, it's I, I don't I can't say it causes contraction but this is what I did notice that on this patient when I was stimulating because I, I don't just put the needles and I actually have to keep stimulating the needles and when I was stimulating the needle you you know from her stomach you can see the baby moving around moving around and she she even saw the baby just <laughs> moving around she's like wow 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 you know so um, but but um, I you know there are certain people that you might do a, uh, you know, a, a lot of acupuncture and, 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 and still nothing happens and that because it's just not it's time not, for the baby time. for the baby to come out. No, I, of course I believe in, I believe the most natural process of life is birth. And even though I make the, a little nasty comment now and then that doctors consider it a nine month, nine month pathology that they have to terminate. But I'm, I'm, I love birthing centers I, that have more midwives and more the natural process of giving birth and everything else. Do, do occupy, are there acupuncturists who are involved in that program? Um, yes, yes. So, so that if our listeners are wanting more uh, of a natural birth and everything else, they could also get information through acupuncture of, uh, or acupuncturists about maybe in, something's in, available? In, in fact, I have a, I have a, um, I have a friend. Uh, he's also an acupuncturist. His wife is... Uh, Maybe going through labor right now, actually, as we talk. Um, and and for the last um, f few days, he's been constantly giving acupuncture to his wife. Yesterday, he t called me and said, you know, other than acupuncture, what else can I give? I said, well, I, I wouldn't want to give her any other herbs that really push it out because if you overdo it, it might al also cause bleeding. But I think the most natural way is still just to go ahead and give her acupuncture. Yeah. Let, let nature take its course. Yeah. There are some things, though, that we do need help with that, uh, you know, and one of the biggest things you mentioned during the break was uh, weight management, what we call, call about people needing to lose weight. Uh, acupuncture, I've heard, also has a benefit there. Yes, yes. Um, and there's a lot of people out there that can use this without taking drugs. Right, right. Uh, can you explain what, what's going on or what, how that t takes place? Um, Every, every different acupuncturist might have different uh, philosophy or different methods of doing it. Um, what I do is, first of all, I, I like to detox the body, at least get whatever uh, in, in our system out. Uh, make sure we have good, clean bowel movement, 
uh, regular bowel movements, movements every day. I've heard that for a lot, you know, a lot of programs. De detox cleansing the body. Cleansing the body. Clean, clean out what's what's in here already first, and then the next thing is um, to curve. What acupuncture can do is curve our appetite. Um, there are there are certain acupuncture points that actually can throw off this um, urge uh, to want to eat, and um, some. Well, is that is that urge a false urge or? Uh, I mean, I love, God only knows, I love to eat. Uh, so are you blocking an overstimulus of a person or a natural stimulus of a person? I, I think it's natural because they, they feel, um, according to Chinese medicine, to want to eat constantly, excessive eating, um, that's not, not natural. That's that means something my concern. Is, that is something off already. So we need to adjust that. So you're getting the body, again, back in balance, function the way it's really designed to, so it's not overstimulated to eat or overstimulated right. emotionally or you know, physically or whatever, the, where, wherever it's coming from. Right. What other, you know, are there some other things? Because we're running out of time, and I, I want our audience to really get the full benefit. We, otherwise, we're going to have to have you come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy to come back. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Uh, so is there any other area that you'd like to, our listeners to know about? Um, uh, Let's see. Let's, allergies, another thing that acupuncture is good for. It helps. Great. Um, and then for people that have ca cancer, okay, uh, we're not allowed to say we treat cancer directly. Well, but you're not really, you, you're like, as we've repeated it over and over, you're not treat <coughs> treating the disease. You're treating the person. Right. But, but we can <coughs> help uh, people. Uh, patients that are going through chemo mm -hmm. um, because chemo makes them feel nauseated and things like that we can help with those symptoms uh, we can also with acupuncture and herbs also boost their immune system so they can withstand going through this treatment. so the body can heal itself yes because of all things the body has the capacity of healing itself if it's functioning right yes so the again no matter whether it be a matter of losing weight or a matter of serious illnesses you know, the, 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 there's benefit to be, be had. Yeah, and another, another uh, one um, that acupuncture also does a lot for is for infertility and fertility for men and women. Uh, now, you're coming from a country that was a little bit restrictive in that area. <laughs> <laughs> remember the, I remember the there, one-child there, policy. There's, there's, there's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mean there's some help here for those people out there that... Uh, Maybe their life is too stressful. They're under too much you know, pressure in life and everything yes, else. Yes, that maybe yes. there's, and they just can't seem to make things happen, mm -hmm. that there's help for them. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Tell uh, what what exactly is going on with that? Is this for the ma man or for the woman? Um, both. Both. Uh, sometimes it, it could be for, uh, for both. Uh, both men or women that might have low libido, um, just don't have the desire. Uh, and then for the men that might have uh, some impotence problem, uh, and then for women that and and that just couldn't get fertile, um, and and they, they might go in and have a lot of tests and and say, well, everything tests fine. I don't have anything wrong, but I just can't get pregnant. I don't know why. Don't uh, you just hit upon something? Don't you just love it that all the patients you see and I see that have gone into Western medicine, medical doctors, with a problem and being told there's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. And to me, if you have a problem, you've got a problem. I've always appreciated honest medical doctors who basically say, I cannot find the reason for your problem, not that there's nothing no wrong. So you are doing what with these? Now, is, there also, is this strictly acupuncture, or are we talking about herbal uh, remedies and things too. Um, sometimes we just do acupuncture only. Sometimes we do acupuncture with herbs, and, and sometimes we just do herbs without acupuncture. It, 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 it depends on the, uh, the, the the patient, and also depends on the doctor. Well, again, we have time is short. We're coming to the end of the show. James, thank you so very very much. Thank you. And if you would like to know more, give us a call at eight five five. 969-7268 at Rant Radio. This is Solutions for Life, and we hope you have enjoyed it, and we'll come back and see you, hear us again.